sudden you don't have to admit it I missed you too and you know that I'm such a good girl and when I miss someone I have to pay a visit eventually I I'm so glad she's not here. Your new girlfriend. Believe me, this is only a courtesy visit. I do not want anything from you, really. Um, so where is she? By the way. Oh, I thought she left you. That would have been nice. Maybe a little sad for you, but you know what I think. Your girlfriend, <laughs> I think she doesn't like you so much. I think it's all a lie. And I think you don't like her either. You're just trying to forget me. She's a coping mechanism. <laughs> it's quite okay. I'm sorry, I don't want to toy with your feelings. I came here to see you. Let us not talk about her. Let us talk about us. Do you remember when I was tucking you in to sleep? We've had such beautiful moments together. I missed you so much. You know, I think I loved you very much. Now I love you less. Actually, sometimes I feel like a little bit like I really hate you. <laughs> but I guess it's just the anger talking, you know. I suffered greatly. I mean, it was very hard for me, and I'm sure it was hard for you, but you don't have to deny. I know you're a little bit afraid. <laughs> Are you afraid of me? Oh, do you want me to leave? No, I think I'm going to stay. What if I sneak inside your bed and I just hold you like this, hug you and hold you? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be nice for a change? 
because um, I think <laughs> we need some intimacy we need to recover all that that passion and I know you want it no I'm not going to leave and you're not going to make me that would be very rude and it would be very untrue because I know you don't want me to leave mm -hmm. I know you miss me I know I can see it in your eyes I've been watching you many days you know I've been watching you from a distance like yesterday morning when you came out of the building you had this sad face <laughs> and the day before when you come back from work you're always sad it's not because of your work I checked that one too I talked to the people in your office I asked if something had happened it hasn't I I know it hasn't But I still love you. I love you even if you lie. Mm -hmm. You treat me badly and you lie. But I somehow feel hooked to love you. But do not get me angry. When I'm angry, do terrible things and you don't want me to do terrible things do you I hope your girlfriend does not come back she's such a nuisance perhaps she won't come back supposedly she found somebody better more suitable for her how do you feel now getting dumped by your coping girl <laughs> oh you're so mean right now no I won't flinch so what are you going to do what are you going to do? Are you going to kick me out of here? Are you going to strangle my pretty neck? No, I don't think so. Oh, maybe you're going to call the police. Tell them what? That your girlfriend came to see you in the middle of the night. <laughs> Fine. Fine. I guess I can go by myself. I don't need you to escort me outside the building. Thank you very much. Unless you want to. You know? Perhaps you're going to change your mind. I need closure, I suppose. So I need to ask you this. Would you mind answering me before I leave? What was it exactly that made you finish this thing we had together? What was it? What was that one thing that made you stop our beautiful relationship our romance do you remember how 
I used to be. We were perfect together. Everybody thought we were gonna marry. So what happened? Was it all me? I'm a little psycho. Well, you know what they say. You should be very careful with psychos. You never know. They can do a lot of harm. Mm -hmm. Didn't your mama tell you you should not mess with it? Crazy. <laughs> so your new girlfriend she's not crazy but tell me is she that hot I think you're yawning with her <laughs> you're so shy away now there is still so much desire in you you are such a you are such a scared puppy you don't know what you want you are afraid of me you cannot control me mm. You can control her. Mm. She's a fortress already taken. So why do you stick around? It's so boring. Don't you think? <sighs> You're already extremely, extremely impatient her tediousness had driven you mad and by the way she's not a very good cook I snuck inside your house one day and I tasted some of the food <laughs> did I ever order ready-made food hmm did I ever order pizza did I reheated some pathetic supermarket box? No. You know why? Because I loved you. So I always cooked from scratch for you. And how lovely everything tasted. Because I spent time and effort. And I used the best products just for you. Because a woman's duty and joy is to keep her man fed and happy. Mm. But you... You are very naughty and slippery. Mm. And with this girl... You know... You've been unfaithful, but I can forgive everything. Um, if you admit that you love me, of course, that you always will, and that you want me back, and you want her out. What do you mean? That's never going to happen. <laughs> Don't you understand? 
She's going to dump you. She's not coming back. <laughs> she lied to you about going away with her friends. That's not what she's doing. She's not in the mountains right now enjoying some uh, hiking with her best friends in high school. No. She's... She's with a guy. Oh. She's riding him right now. And she finds him a million times better than you. <laughs> What if I told you that I have a coping mechanism too? I have a poor fellow in my house as well. It's just like taking, you know, a pet to keep you company. Mm -hmm. Comfort you. consider getting a pet that would be way better than having this kind of girlfriends mm, like her I mean oh, you see you're always trying to put me into the position of having an argument with you I do not want to fight I could forgive and then all this hatred would become love again if you could just say come back come back to me I've made a mistake why don't you call her and see I was right and then What are you doing? Are you going to call the police? Oh, you're so pathetic. All right, then. I'll go. Stop wasting your calls. <sighs> Good night. Go back to sleep, my love. I'm glad I could come to tuck you in. But as you are naughty, I see. Better go back inside, it's pretty cold. And you don't have a jacket. One last kiss, perhaps. On the cheek. Mm, a quick one. Hmm, you see, you didn't die. All right, I guess uh, you'll call me one of these days and I'll see you around. Good night.